Well, this is the woman who, about 10 months ago, suddenly discovered that she had glandular fever. It's been a long, rocky road back for Watson. Just like, yeah, I was talking about that earlier, Chris. In terms of the glandular fever, um, had she, she realised 10 months ago she had it, but she probably had it a bit longer she than did. that. She did. Yep. In fact, she was, uh, she lost a couple of matches just after the Australian Open last year. And people said, well, you know, what, what's the problem? Have you got a problem? And she said, no, I don't think so. I'm just a bit tired. <laughs> and then she had a couple of tests and said, uh, you know, I said I was tired. Uh, it's, it's glandular fever. In fact, she said she was going to take a break and then s someone persuaded her not to. And then she took the test. And found it out. Again, so much. Watson. Two sets to but she's had to qualify here. Seven sets. And that's the relief. And uh, nice embrace at the end there. Let's get the numbers. Yep, just having a, a look at match summary at the moment. First serve uh, percentage, not too much difference there in terms of uh, first serves, although the, the winners, Watson serves the, a lot more on it than uh, Falcone. The winner's line, I think, is the interesting one because the unforced errors are pretty similar, but uh, for a player looking to become more aggressive, that will be pleasing statistics for Watson.